Hey everybody, this is Momo from the Momo Zone here on YouTube and uh, today's episode is going to be a little news update on what's been happening with uh, the situation with Nazma. Um, I know that the video has been removed and I've been getting all kinds of emails as to what is happening. Um, well, I'll just give you a little rundown on that. Uh, this woman has been in contact with Nazma. She was getting... Uh, rather upset and basically uh, we came to a conclusion that if I removed the video um, that she would pay her back so I've given her the benefit of the doubt uh, removed the video uh, actually I've, I've put it private and in the hopes that this is going to be solved let us remember that my goal here is not to upset uh, or freak anybody out I just was trying to make sure that justice was done in this particular case because I did find that this was a little bit harsh, you know. Um, I also found, you know, I got a lot of emails on this stuff and a, lo a lot of responses and and some of the responses, you know, I'll, I'll be very honest with you, had me a little bit, you know, um, what's the word I can use? A little bit hurt, you know, in, in the sense that, you know, there's some people out there that that are regular watchers and people that like me and that I like them that, that, that were actually, you know, being a little bit harsh on the situation. Saying stuff to the effect of, you know, that I could have picked a more important subject or more people need help out there uh, than a person like this. Um, look, I respect everybody out there. And what's important to one person is not necessarily important to another. And that's okay, that's what makes us all different, you know. But in this case, I got to tell you that, you know, when I did go ahead and compare it to the death of somebody, it, to someone who's in love for the first time for real, their very first love, uh, it could very well feel like death, you know, when I, Lord knows when I lost my first love when I was a kid, I mean, I cried every day for two years. All I did was play songs with her name in it, like a real, like a retarded freak, man, and I could have easily thought that I was gonna pop myself you know um, and 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 yeah like she laid out a lot of money but again I want to remind you guys this money was not laid out all in one chunk if you saw the second video you know that I said that when you're in knee deep it is a common thing that people are gonna go neck deep and go in over their heads because it's like that what the hell you know I'm in this deep let me go the whole way and especially when you're vulnerable and when you're hurt and, and let us not remember that there are some people out there that are real gifted with the way they speak in a way that they can take advantage of people who are at their low point. Uh, it, it happens all the time throughout the world, you know? So I think it's positive energy that we need. Um, and I'm open to all kinds of suggestions out there. By all means, uh, please send me uh, suggestions on topics that you'd like to see me cover. I know that, you know, I want you to know that I'm a very spontaneous person. I have a full-time job and I do this because I enjoy doing this. So a lot of times I will just, you know, go for a situation that happens to come my way at the right time. The timing is right and I'm, I, I move with the flow, you know, and, but the most important part is the underlined message. This is what's important. You know, a lot of people think, mm, this is not so important. This is not going to work. It doesn't work for me. But it's a point of just looking at the underneath of what we're actually talking about. In this case, she lost money for a person. Oh, wow, that's stupid, right? But what if you lost money on a business deal or a real estate deal or some kind of investment, you know, where the stock market crashed? Does that make you any stupider? You know, so, you know, so that's it. I mean, I, I want to thank everybody really for all the amazing response that I have been getting towards my channel. I also want to know, let people know that I do read all your messages. Sometimes I cannot get back to them right away. I am really dealing with a way to write back to every single person and do this. Like I've said in some of my other videos, I'm trying to find a way so that I can just keep doing this in a way that just keeps it neat and clean and I could just sit there and really do this, you know? And, and, and for the last, three to four weeks um i've had the worst tendonitis i've ever had in my in my arm in my life uh, all because i've been answering so many emails and 
and, and programming and doing all kinds of computer work, it, it, it really took toll on my arm. So I'm actually dealing with it. I'm getting some uh, new ergonomic furniture and somebody's gonna come in here and measure the exact place that I gotta be sitting and how I gotta be doing this so that this doesn't happen. And uh, I will be writing everyone back as soon as I can. So I really thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking interest in what it is that I'm saying. And um, I mean, we're gonna grow together and, and, and you know, I just wanna rock with you guys because it's just so great to be able to communicate in this digital way, you know? So um, just a little note on my next video <clears throat> that I've already filmed. Uh, it's gonna be about long distance relationships. This is something that a lot of people have to go through. Long distance relationships, at one point, they break, there's insecurity going on. You figure, what the hell? We're apart X amount of times in a year, so why do we need to be together? Well, I have some friends of mine who have been maintaining a relationship in a special way uh, uh, over two and a half years. And I'm gonna share this with you because this is really, really cool and it's very simple, And but it's gonna be there to remind you that you guys can do the same thing and uh, keep your love really strong during during the absence. Also, in closing, yeah, I, I got a, a little note. Somebody had written me something uh, regarding my uh, I'm Not Invisible uh, video I did a little while ago, and they said something like, wow, um, they felt a little strange that they were hearing this woman's voice in the back talking, but they never really got to see her, you know, and that's my partner of 23 years, and like, why don't I bring her on, you know? Um, well, look, I didn't really want to uh, uh, expose her, um, and and you know that day it was just a particular day. She was just sitting there in her uh, in her sweatpants and maybe having a bad hair day, and she didn't really want to be seen. So that's that. But I will go and get her right now, so you can just actually meet her for a second. And uh, one of these days, uh, we will actually do an episode for you guys on our relationship and how we've been like, like totally what I consider to be the most perfect couple for the last 23 years. I'm madly in love with her, just like I met her yesterday. It's a really incredible thing. And, and today is an incredible day because <clears throat> she's actually going out there uh, to play guitar for something that's going to be being shot that's going to be in France. Uh, it's actually for Celine Dion, believe it or not. She's having some kind of massive like bash and she's going to be playing guitar with this uh, French rapper guy called MC Solar, which is uh, pretty big out in France, and, uh, and Celine and all these people. And she's going to be rocking it hard like she normally does. And um, let me go get her for you so you can just say hello. Uh, Krilla! Hey, you want to come say hello here a second? <laughs> come, come over here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, J just, just come say. What do you mean not like this? Come over here. <laughs> just come say hello. There was somebody okay. who that heard it. Just say hello to everybody on YouTube over there. Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm getting ready for a crazy concert. Did you tell them? Yeah, I just told them. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm all dressed in my. I don't know how to look. <laughs> anyway, peace, man. This is the mo. Yeah, yeah. So this is my uh, <laughs> my incredible other half that uh, I've been together with her for like 23 years, and it's like we just met yesterday. And she's gonna rock tonight. I'm gonna be there with her, watching her, rooting her on. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch. And next week, like I said, this week coming up, I'll finish it on Saturday or Sunday, and I'll put it on. Uh, it's going to be that episode on long distance relationships and you guys totally rock man Which we've been through for for one year we had a long distance relationship for one year remember yeah exactly that was that was you know but we we've been through it so anything's possible anything's possible so uh on that note peace out you're on the momo zone and you guys totally rock, rock. and i'll see you very soon eh? yeah peace out